art has been therapy, art is, is freedom, it's fun, it's an outlet, and it's just all, all around me, you know what I'm saying? If I, I don't know what, what else I would be doing if I didn't do that, so yeah, it's everything. What's good? This art by Jay, painter, mirrorless, tattoo artist, all mediums, and this is the way I think. Art for me started at a, at a young age, um, doodling on my homework, tests, you know, where you write your name at, add little incentives to it. Me and my cousins having drawing contests and copying what we've seen and, and coloring books are superheroes. And that, that sparked that sparked it because I got super um, you know, it was an encouragement. It was, it was, it was, it driven me more to keep going, you know, because I was good at it. I started apprenticing at about 12, between 12 and 13, and I got to the age of 15, and I was actually doing like little small pieces, like little tats. And uh, my cousin, <clears throat> everybody, he, he left. I was in, left in the shop. Nobody was there. I guess people was gonna get some needs. So like. Phone was ringing off the hook and people was coming in trying to get tad out and I'm about to do these tags. So uh, I was doing the name. First time I ever did a neck. Oh, that was like the worst experience ever. Like the neck skin was like super difficult. But long story short, my cousin walked in and was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> like, you're not even supposed to be doing this right now. Like I was literally in the middle of doing someone's tattoo and he said so he put everybody out and let me finish the tattoo but then I got suspended from the shop for a little while but it was just those chances I had to take you know what I'm saying just to just to do it but after a while he was like I understand you know just don't do it again New Orleans I paint New Orleans in, in, a, in a different way um I don't like traditional stuff and just kind of like more so like neighborhood um, references and culture references down to like fashion neighborhoods uh, scenery shotgun houses you know what I'm saying so New Orleans we're one of these cities that have rich culture it's not too many cities that have the rich culture like we do so um, it's a huge influence in my art and a lot of people from the city and from different neighborhoods they resonate with it because they understand you know what I'm saying um, I don't do the traditional fucking trombone street cars and shit I kind of paint from the neighborhood at first I was doing like this camel thing with grenades and just like I guess almost like a hype art type of type of deal um, a trend art so it's just like came to a point where I was getting bored with that. I'm like, man, I want to switch gears. I was talking to a few other artists, homies. Um, and they was saying that, you know, it's, maybe you should switch it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Try something new. Come with come with some stories, some substance. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Because I do have a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? So, and then it took me a little minute to get out that box. But once I figured it out, it, re, it relit a flame, like it made this more fun because it can get boring because you you know, it, it, you have to do something to switch it up. You have to try different things. So once I uh, did that and it just took off from there and it's, it was received very well, it still is. And I got a certain amount of eyes on me now that I didn't have and it just more, you know, a lot of people now, um, a lot of collectors and a lot of situations are taking a little bit more seriously now with the shift change. And I like it, I can go, I can come up with 10 bodies of work off of just this subject alone. I, li I like to play with different colors and different flat elements. Uh, I, don't, I don't want my sky blue all the time. I don't want my ground gray all the time. And then in this series, like I've been uh, using a lot more texture too, just to add to it. And just to have all those different forms, like if I have flat looks, I got texture, I'm bringing, you know, it's, it's oil, the spray paint. So just to bring all these different mediums in one is fun because I don't want to box myself in with just playing with just one medium. Um, 
So, um, and like I said, I'm not afraid to use bright colors. I want, I want it to be vibrant. I want it to be nice. Right now, I have my first solo exhibit with an actual gallery, um, Motor Machine Gallery. So, I've been locked in on this new body of work. The name of the show is called Round Away. Um, just uh, in reference to New Orleans, the neighborhoods I grew up in, the things I seen in the neighborhoods. Um, I was an outside kid, just always playing. So man, I've been working around the clock. Um, Cause this is a, like a pivotal moment for my career. My first solo show with an actual gallery is different from me curating my own shows that I normally do. So um, just been really locked in because I'm stepping into another market. Um, a, a, a little bit more serious market than me throwing my own curated show. So I'm excited about it, just ready to see what the uh, feedback will be. Man, I just want to continue to get my work out there, get into some other spaces outside of New Orleans, um, and continue to inspire, um, you know, the, the young the, the young youth, uh, those, those kids that is artists and don't have much of an outlet to show it. Um, to show that, that hey, you can you can make a living off of this and do do great.